Everybody is fighting for somebody's attention, from that male or female that you like, to your customers and clients. But did you know there are three different levels to getting somebody's attention on a subconscious and conscious level? These may surprise you. Everybody from businesses to local authorities to even your girlfriend or boyfriend has recognised that it is harder today to get your attention than it was 20 years ago. This is because now more than ever we are getting bombarded with so much information. So how do we get people's attention? That's the question. Well that is what we're here for Theo. To get people's attention you need to go through the three stages of attention. The first level is immediate attention, colour, smell and sound. The second level is short attention, the conscious decision to focus on a subject or a concept. The third level is long term attention, when you take a long time interest in a person, subject or idea. Immediate attention. Let's look at automanticity, sounds, colours and smell. It is a well known fact that sounds, colours and smell invoke immediate emotions within us as soon as we experience them. Let's look at colours for an example. High contrast colours seem to do very well. If you look at red, orange and yellow, they seem to be used quite often for call to action buttons. Amazon, they use yellow and orange. If you look at YouTube, they use red for subscribe. So these colours tend to pop out on white backgrounds and other types of backgrounds. If you look at Instagram, neon colours and high contrast colours tend to do very well. If you make a post that has a, a certain filter on the colours and it makes the colours really pop, you will get a lot more engagement. So the contrast of colours on your website, on your social media platforms and on the videos or the visual content that you're creating really matters. Association is another subject that is included within immediate attention. Look at how the colour blue in the western world is associated with cold. It invokes a certain emotion on as soon as we see that colour. If you think of the colour red, automatically most people think of love or that type of emotion. Whereas in another country or culture, red is received in a totally different way than what we would receive it. First subject within short attention is framing. With framing, we tend to be drawn to people that have the same frame of reference as us. So people that are similar to us, people that believe what we believe, people that think how we think. If someone or something challenges our perception on an idea, product or a concept, then we're backed up into a wall to a point where we have to ask ourselves questions. If we ask ourselves questions, that means we're giving it extended thought, which is short attention. There is a good example of using frame of reference from a campaign called Children See, Children Do. I'll leave a link in the description. The objective of this campaign was to demonstrate that adults have an impact on children's lives. The way that they demonstrated this visually was that they got children to follow almost identical adults and copy what they was doing. So if someone was smoking, the child was smoking. If someone was swearing, the child was swearing. If someone was being racist, the child was being racist. So this was showing the impact that the adults had on the child. That campaign uses frame of reference so well to the point where we will go away after the advert and we'll be faced by a similar situation when we're around a child and we will question our actions simply because we saw the advert and it made us really think so it was thought provoking content. Now that is the powerful type of content that will resonate and, and leave you top of mind with whoever it is you're trying to reach. That is what I mean by frame of reference. Now again, this comes down to how well do you know your customer? How well do you know your target audience? The better you understand them, the better you're gonna be able to give frame of reference and then challenge those perceptions. The third level is long-term attention. This is the level where most people want to be at, but the problem is most people try to jump to this level and then when things don't work, they wonder why they don't work. It's because they missed out the first two steps. So what is long-term attention? Long-term attention is when you go from watching one episode of Game of Thrones to watching the whole series on an all-nighter on Netflix of Game of Thrones to go to watching the behind the scenes of Game of Thrones. Not only that, you're reading every bit of article that you can find online on Game of Thrones. That's when you become an advocate of whatever it is, a concept, product or brand. Another example of long-term attention is when you go to the same YouTube channel daily and weekly. So you might have started off watching one video 
Then from one video, you've gone back to the channel, watched a couple of other videos, now you've subscribed. Now after you've subscribed, that's become a weekly habit or a monthly habit for you to go back to that channel to see if they've released any videos. So how do you get to that third level of long attention? Long attention is all about giving value, giving as much value as you possibly can. So if, if you're giving value to someone to the point where they cannot go without you, and if you go now and stop what you're doing, they will miss you and they will, that will affect their everyday life. That's where you want to be. Like that is literally where you're aiming because you want to become a daily habit to your customers and clients to the point where if you really go, they're going to feel like they're grieving. They're going to feel like something, a big part of their life has gone. But again, it comes back to how well you understand your customers because you need to understand what they find valuable, not necessarily what you think is valuable, but what they find valuable. A couple of years ago, it used to be people wake up in the morning, read a newspaper while they eat their breakfast and then go about their day. But how it works now, people wake up in the morning, eat their breakfast and they're watching a video or reading an article. But the question you've got to ask yourself is, are you giving enough value to make people want to make you their daily routine? Are you giving enough value? You've got to question yourself. Are you seriously giving that much value that it is going to change people's lives if they put what you're offering into practice or simply listen to it? This is the part of the show where I thank my sponsor, Agora Pulse, my social media management tool of choice. Question of the day. When you're scrolling down on whatever social media platform you mainly use, what grabs your attention? What type of content grabs your attention? Let me know in the comments below. Guys, don't forget to hit that red button either. Hit that red button and subscribe.